This is the Audiotronics Class Set 152S. I am now using the automatic level control, speaking right into the external microphone. I'm now about a foot away from the uh, external microphone. Turning the volume control, I don't think that'll do anything with the ALC engaged. But if I turn the ALC off, and I have the volume all the way up, and I'm going to speak closer and slowly turn the volume down, turning the volume down, turning the volume down, turning the volume down. Huh. It doesn't seem to be changing. Oh. We're still. ALC. Now the volume's almost all the way down. Volume's almost all the way down. Now we're going about halfway and turning it all the way up. Okay. Uh, I think a lot of these switches are noisy. Going back to ALC mode, at least I hope so. As a PA mode, I don't think that'll do anything while recording. Nope, it doesn't do anything while recording. And, um... If you hear the meter beeping in the background, that's tracks that I recorded before. I've not yet engaged the record mode for the sync control. I'm going to do that now. The red light comes on when you do that. And I'd be racing any sync pulses that I put in before. So now I'm going to do a pulse. That would change my uh, slide. These don't do like different times it seems to be a fixed pulse on playback like this is going to be a little short quick pulse on the button and now I'm going to push a long one but it seems to be the same on the uh, playback well, what else oh the mic has a switch on it but it's just an on off switch that does very well microphone um, to pause it, you have to flip this little pause button. We're going to take a pause for the call. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, what else can I show? Oh, the built-in microphone, which works very poorly. I'm plugging the external mic. We're still in ALC mode. Oh, look, it's working now. That was not working before. I'm about a foot and a half away from the built-in mic. I'm going to walk across the room. I'm uh, about four feet away from the built-in mic. And I'm going to come right up here close to it. Hello, built-in microphone. I'm glad you're working now. Must have been some dirty contacts on the switch and the mic jack that I finally cleared up. Let's so turn the ALC off. Built-in mic. ALC off. Volume all the way up. Hello. Pegging the needle. All you. Cord storage. All right. No batteries. Uh, that's about it for this neat little device. Um, so there. I have a photocopied manual for this thing, which is popular for schools. You know, they'd keep the uh, original manual in the library and make photocopies for everybody because they knew that they'd get torn up. Torn kids. Step by steps instructions. This kind of answers my question. At the point in the audio program material when you wish to slide or frame to advance, press the pulse record button and release. Continue to play the tape pressing the pulse record button each time you want another f slide or frame to advance. No matter how long the pulse record button is held down, it will only advance one slide at a time. To advance a series of slides, you must push and release the button each time you want a slide to advance. Allow a minimum of one second between each signal.
So it turns out this is a mono track recorder with a head on uh, both sides of the tape, so to speak. So if you flip the tape over, you should be able to hear those beeps. There's one. So that's the sync record beeps on the other side of the tape. If you're using that feature, you can only use the tape in one direction. Seems like they would have uh, used a stereo head and one track for voice and one track for the sync. Here's the best look of the heads that I can get. Let's see if I can get it in the light better. There, that's better. So we're looking in from the tape drawer, pinch roller, record play head, and erase head. Full track, mono, double sided heads. Well, I heard something loose inside, so that was all the temptation I needed to take it apart. Cool looking uh, speaker, big oval speaker. It's got a uh, shield on this side, so where the power cord tucks in, won't hurt the speaker. Power transformer, motor. If you look in here, a little black round thing. Here's your bias oscillator, so it is AC bias. Um, thickness of wires. It's not the neatest looking thing on the inside, but not too shabby. Big relays in there for controlling the uh, projector. Azuzaki. Hmm. Belt's in good shape. Doesn't feel oily or rubbery like they get. I'm really surprised that this door is still intact and not broken off of its hinges. Because it took some doing to get that cord to lay nice in there so that it would close without forcing it. Thanks for watching.